Hey y'all, welcome back in the shed. Um, if you haven't been here before, my name is Timmy and I buy and sell stuff locally and sell it online for a profit. Um, I'm gonna do something a little different today. It may be boring to some of you. Some of you may want to know about this. I don't know. But I'm gonna grab a few items today. Like I have a five disc set of uh, Boontown season one that I just picked up at the Goodwill today. I think I, I paid like three dollars and some change for that. Um, I picked up this this uh, card game right here called Five Crowns. I paid a dollar twenty nine at the Goodwill today. Um, I picked this up last Saturday, and it's, it's thirty two plastic chess men. Uh, these are vintage uh, chess pieces. I haven't even counted them to see if everything's in there, but I paid a buck or two for those and over here i have some uh racing nascar racing items that i picked up last saturday at a yard sale for a dollar each so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you what i do with these things you know i buy them and then i turn around take pictures of them list them over on um on eBay and then I cross list them over to Macari and Poshmark places like that but uh, I can't put these on Poshmark obviously because Poshmark is just clothes and shoes and like clothing accessories but um sometimes I get items like this piece right here it has permanent marker on it that's where they wrote the price on it but that is very very easy to get rid of and I will show y'all how I do it so here we go all right you see it hopefully you can see it there it is right there and what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my magic eraser right here which is about worn out and i got a bottle of water and i'm just going to take and i'm going to put a little dab of water on this thing just a little little dab and then i'm going to go right here and just rub on it just a little bit let it work in there change my angle here. I don't know if y'all be able to see it better over here or what but it's already disappearing and I'm not putting a whole lot into it y'all I'm just barely rubbing this thing and look gone that simple that's how you get permanent marker off of stuff now it's pretty easy to get it off of that uh, that shrink wrap, that plastic on the outside. It comes off pretty easy. Um, so it would come off of that DVD set if it was on it too. Now, if you try to do that on this old cardboard box here, um, you're probably going to rub, like if it was on that blue, you're probably going to rub that blue completely off. But you will get that permanent marker off eventually. And you got to scrub a little bit. But that simple y'all that simple now there are price stickers on a couple of these nascar pieces and like this old roses one i'm not even going to take that thing off I'm, I'm not even going to mess with it i don't see the point um nobody's going to care if it says two dollars and fifty cent on it but I mean, this is an old walmart one i mean it's pretty old i don't know how old this thing is um 2000 so it's a vintage piece it's 22 years old but um i'll show you what i do to get that off I mean, in case you get one that's on cardboard or something like that this is how i do it so what i do is i just take i just take a little knife like this and just get up under the edge of it just be real careful with it and if that don't work you can use this guy right here um, that's called a Scotty pillar. You can find you can find those on Amazon. You can buy them in like a set of three. And all you do is you just kind of get up under it. Same thing I was doing with the knife. Um, I've seen a lot of people recommend these on YouTube, but I don't really like them. They don't do a good job to me. I would really use this knife. I'd really use this knife right here. To me, it just works better. Um, and something like this has been up there for 20 years. It takes a little extra to get that thing off of there. If this was a, a recent Walmart sticker, it would come off a lot, lot easier. And most of the time, those would, would come off in one piece, whereas these are coming off in multiple pieces. And I'll just keep picking at it until I get the bulk of it off. 
You just want to get this top layer off. It's still going to leave some of the old adhesive behind on it. Might have to fast forward this a little bit for y'all. It doesn't take a super long time. Um, if you ever get hung up on one spot, just go to another corner and start from there. Y'all would think, you know, it'd be real easy to just take a take a sticker off, but when it's been up there for for 22 years or something, it's a whole different story. All right, throw this away. All right, so there's where we're at now. You know, I've still got a bunch of white, a little bit of white paper with some adhesive. So I'm going to take this stuff right here called Goo Gone. You can pick it up uh, in many different forms of spray bottles and stuff at uh, Walmart and probably Lowe's and other places. And I just take a little piece of paper towel, put a little dab on it, and just kind of dab it, let it soak in a little bit. And just let it soak for a few seconds. You know, just count to 10 or something and then just take and start rubbing on it now the thing is with this painted cardboard you want to be careful you don't want to get you don't want to go too deep then you might have to take your your knife or whatever and rub it a little bit this is only for old ones newer stickers that haven't been up there very long they'll come right off you'll see i got more little pieces right there but yeah, your newer ones aren't, aren't this aggravating. And then just take a little bit of your goo gone again on your paper towel, rub it a little bit more. And by now it's probably off. I mean, there may be a little bit left. I got just a little bit right there. Yep, just a little bit. And just finish rubbing it in. And there you go. I probably can't see it there with the lighting, but it's all gone. Easy as that. So, I mean, I spent what, I might have spent three minutes on that thing, and I would have been a little bit faster if I didn't have to deal with a camera and, and all that. But, um, all right, now let's, let's move over and start doing some listing. Well, let's start taking some pictures. How about that? All right, y'all. So this ain't really rocket science here. Um, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my phone. I do all my listing on my phone. I do not, I take all my pictures from my phone. It's an iPhone 8. Um, the, the camera is plenty good for taking pictures to list stuff on eBay. You don't need a special camera to do this. So all I'm gonna do is I've got this nice background right here. Um, any kind of wood grain um, background. It, I, I like the lighter colors myself, but um, there's nothing wrong with having a darker color. Like this works great on this light color. It contrasts really well. But sometimes you get stuff like this right here and it doesn't contrast very well. It doesn't stand out. So what you can do is take something like this green bubble meller and just set it behind it. Just as simple as that. I mean, or you could even take and fold it like this and set it up there and take your picture like that. And that's probably what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and start with that one. And what I'm doing is I'm going on my, on my camera and I'm hitting the square. Uh, eBay likes square pictures better. I don't know why, but that's just how it is. So I'm just going to take a picture of the front of it and I'm going to take a picture of the back of it. And a lot of times I'll get a picture of the side. Just get a picture of that side. And there's nothing else on it that I really need a picture of. So that easily, I've already got I've already got my picture taken on that one. And then I just set it up on my counter and I move on to my next one. And the next one's gonna be this five crowns game. And just like that, I'm gonna take the picture. I'm gonna take a picture of the back. I'm not really worried about a picture of the side of it. That's good enough for me. Uh, 
I don't see why you would need more than two pictures for that game. And then these guys here, I'm just going to do the same thing. Um, I will get a little bit of a different angle on these if I can um, to show it from the side. But I try to I try to get the full picture. I try to get a close up of the car and and get the back of it. And also, I like to include um, down at the bottom of these where it shows the year and i like to get the item number also because i'm going to punch the item number in the item specifics on uh on ebay get one more and um it's important on things like this and this goes with star wars stuff gi joe stuff nascar anything that's got this cardboard this back is called the card this front is called the blister. It, this is a blister pack is what this is. This plastic up front, this bubble, that's the blister. Um, what you want to do is get it from the side so people can see if this card is curved or not. Um, if something is straight, it, it's looked at as being, as being better. You know, it's in better condition. I mean, that's pretty simple. But all I do is set it like that and I take a picture from the side so I can show people how curved it is and I may take one from both sides but that one's done set it up here with the rest of them and then I just keep going down the line and do each one of them the same way this one this one is curved pretty bad at the bottom i mean i might can straighten it out a little bit but it still has these white creases in there people people aren't looking for that they, they don't they don't want items like that most of the time i mean if this was a if this was a maximum worth a maximum of about twenty dollars nobody's going to pay twenty dollars because of how curved it is I'm not going to go through all those other ones. Um, I'm not. I'm not going to put y'all through all that. That would take way too long. But this chess, this chessman thing. There's supposed to be 32 of them in there. And this is Milton Bradley. This is um. This is an older, a vintage set. It is 1969 right there on this. So this is really, really old. Um. And I'll show you what I'm dealing with here. Um. That is a vintage piece right there. Let's see how many we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right, so we've got sixteen black. some checkers in there and I'll have to look into those I have no idea what those go to but let's see how many are in here because I only paid for the chest pieces so if I get extra that's great two three four six seven eight nine ten eleven so we have twelve red One, two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11, 12. So I also have 12 checkers. So I'm going to put those in a separate plastic bag and I'm going to sell those. It would not surprise me if I looked and checked if these are vintage pieces too. But I'll look that up later. Um, that doesn't have anything to do with this video we're shooting right now. Let me get a plastic bag. All right. So this is going to be a little bit of a weird angle for y'all. But I'm going to try to show you exactly how I do this. First, I've got to uh, turn my screen recording on on my phone. It's been a while since I've done it, so i got to remember how to get there. 
all right i use an app called record it whenever i do this and all i'm doing is i'm going in here and i'm going to tap to start recording my screen and um i also want to make sure it says microphone off i make sure that my microphone is on all right so here we go start recording all right y'all so i'm gonna try to link this in my video so to where you can see what i'm doing right now it's recording my screen and we are going to go to ebay and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to i'm going to go to search and i'm just going to go look for this upc i'm going to click my camera on my search bar and it's going to pull it up let's see what we got all right looking through here i'm looking for this particular ernie Irvin. and if we can't find it this way we can look it up we can look it up by actually punching it in um i'm not really seeing many ernie Irvins in here i see some but not this particular car um, so we're gonna have to do something a little different scrolling 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 not finding what i want there's one right there 425 free shipping i ain't liking the looks of that we may have to end up lotting two of these things together because the prices aren't looking too good but here's what we're going to do this is a 1997 so we're going to go up here and we're going to punch it in 1997 hot wheels um we'll just type in ernie Irvin. And that's how you spell his name. And we'll see what comes up. Alright, there's one for three dollars plus four fifty shipping, so we're at seven seven dollars and fifty cent possibly. Um it will take somewhere between three and four dollars to ship that thing. And there's no one sold for eight dollars. Um plus four ninety nine shipping. I could deal with that. If I sold that for eleven ninety nine or twelve ninety nine, I'd be happy with that. We might use that listing. Alright. You also notice that I have this thing sitting on my scale right now. So we're gonna go back. There we go. We found that listing. I have this sitting on my scale, um, and I'm looking right here at it it weighs almost three ounces so once i package that up um it's gonna go i probably won't even use this eight by eight by four box but if i take that box and that and put it together it's 6.8 ounces if i throw a little bit of paper in there i'm still gonna be less than eight ounces so i'm gonna list this when i list it i'm gonna put in there that it weighs about eight ounces so here's what we're gonna do so we're gonna go right here and we're gonna click on that particular one and right at the top where it says sell one like this i'm going to click that and we're going to start selling and it's going to ask me to put in my um my pictures right up here at the top where that plus sign is i click that <clears throat> and i'm going to go through and find the pictures i took of that one which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm going to upload those. And while they're uploading, there's no need for me to wait. I can click done and I can go over here and look at my title, make sure that's what I want. And it is. I'm going to go over here to uh, condition and I'm going to, you could list this as new or you could list it as used. It is technically new. It has not been open, but I'm going to put it as used. And where it says UPC, it says does not apply, but it does. And I'm going to punch this UPC in there by, by hitting this little scanner and letting it scan. And right there, it puts that in. Now, the reason I did that, if somebody comes up with one of these, um, uh, you know, three months from now or two months from now, and they try to scan it for eBay, all they have to do is scan that UPC and it'll come up for them and they can see if i sold it what i sold it for it just makes it easier than typing it all in um and you want to put as many of these item specifics as you can in there um it says vehicle make this is a ford um vehicle year it's going to be a 97 so we put that in um the scale is i believe this is 164th i think that's right da, 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 da. 
I'm pretty sure that's 164. It's amazing it doesn't say it anywhere up here. That's weird. But anyways, it's a 164, so we'll plug it in there. Um, it says Hot Wheels Racing, that is right. Um, vehicle type is a car. Uh, material is die cast, yep. Color, main color on it is black, so I'm gonna use that. Um, you don't have to do all of these like I'm doing. I, I think it's a good idea. Uh, the theme on it is Haveline. Ooh, can't spell. Why is it not typing what I'm telling it to type? There we go. Haveline, um, custom bundle. No, it is not. Uh, modified. No, it is not. Uh, I'm not going to keep putting stuff in here. Um, and then my custom skew. I'm just going to put NASCAR tote because it goes in the, the totes up there with all my NASCAR stuff. I mean, I've got like three totes up there. I, I don't worry about putting a number on it or anything, but um, I am going to put that I paid $1. That way I know whenever I pull it and make a video that it, it costs me a dollar. Then I'm going to go in here and look at my store category, which is different than eBay categories. And it is a vintage item, so I'm going to put it as vintage. And it's a NASCAR item, so I also have one in there called NASCAR. So I'm going to click done. I'm going to go down to my description. And I'm going to put, um, I'm going to put good pre-owned condition. But I'm also going to put never opened. Okay. And then I'm going to put the year. It's 1997. I'm going to just type in vintage. Um, and I make sure I put in Ernie Irvin's name. Although all this stuff should already, you know, th these people should already know this. Uh, I'm still going to put it in there. And I'm just going to put um, C picks for overall condition. And I'm going to click done. Now we need to go to the pricing. I do not want it to be an auction. I want to do buy it now. And I'm going to pay for the shipping on this. I'm going to list it as free shipping. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to list this thing for $12.99. That's what that's. And I have one of these. Um, this one over here is very, very similar, but it's just a little bit different. So I'm going to put it in a different listing. But I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that because I'm just going to rob from this listing that I'm doing right now pretty much. I'm just going to copy it. All right, I've got my price in there. I'll click done. I'm going to go to my shipping or delivery. It says eight ounces. It's going to be first class, but it says buyer pays. I need to click on that and change it to free for buyer because I'm going to pay the shipping on it. Um, I do also do the global shipping program. Um, and the reason I do that is I can see where it says ship internationally. I do that because it's going to open it up to more eyes. I'm going to list this on Macari. I'm going to list this uh, on eBay. But people overseas can also see it and they'll be able to buy it. It won't cost me any more to ship it. All I have to do is ship it to Kentucky. And then they take, they take it from there and send it overseas and it's out of my hands. Next up, these preferences. Um, I do a three-day handling time. That's just to cover my butt in case um, something happens and I can't get my item shipped out for two or three days. Um, most of the time I do next day shipping, but uh, I just put three days just to cover my butt just in case. But I am going to also click require immediate payment. Um, it says get paid right away when a buyer chooses to buy it now. Um, and I do accept returns within 30 days, and I always put that the buyer has to pay the returns on it. So, all right, all that's done. And normally, I would just click save for later and put this in my draft bank. But because I have this one right here that's the same thing, I don't want to have to go through and change all that stuff again. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click list your item. And I'm going to put this one to the side. All right. And I'm going to put this one on the scale because this is my next item. Now, it weighs exactly the same. It's pretty much the same one. The only reason I'm doing this is because right here, 
it says uh, Super Speedway. If you look at the one I just did, it does not say Super Speed Speedway. So they are two different cars. Even though they've got the same UPC number, that's two different cards right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click View Listing. All right, so there's the item I just listed. I'm gonna click Sell Similar right there. And it's gonna ask me, it's gonna ask me do I want to keep those photos? And I'm gonna click Remove because I'm now, I'm gonna go to my photos and I'm going to select all those that I just put up and I'm I'm going to get rid of those. Oh. I'm going to get rid of those. All right. So now now we've got to go to this one here in our phone and it is right here. So I'm going to click all those 3 4 5 6. I'm going to click all those and start adding those in click done it, everything should be exactly the same in here shouldn't have to change anything yep all of it's exactly the same this one is in just a little bit better condition so instead of charging $12.99 I'm going to charge $13.99 but everything else in here is exactly the same now I'm going to click save for later because that's going to go on my draft bank and it will get listed later this week all right so that was simple enough um i'm not going to go through all of the other ones not going to go through all these other ones with y'all i think that would make for a really long video but that's how i do it i sit here on my bar stool i put it on my scale get my measurements um sometimes i just guess at how much something's going to weigh um sometimes i pretty much know like i know all these things right here are going to go out of here at, at an eight ounce rate um these chess men i would put those on the scales and you see it says eight and a half ounces um i know that it's not going to take me another seven and a half ounces to get that shipped um, I can put that in one of my small boxes that weighs like two ounces or less and it'll go out of here first class. So y'all, that's how I do it. Um, and then of course I'll have a shipping video at some point. I've already done a little bit of a shipping video one time, but I don't want to bore y'all too long. So um, if you watch this and you learn something, please give the video a thumbs up. Um, if you watch this and you still have a question about something, um, please let me know down in the comments. Um, ask whatever questions you want to, and maybe I can answer answer those questions later on. But y'all, I appreciate you being here. Um, if you enjoyed it or if you learned something, please consider subscribing to the channel. And I'll try to, uh, to show you some more stuff. I'll take you in uh, to yard sales with me. I'll take you to thrift sales with me. We'll go to Walmart, Ollie's, Target, wherever we can find a deal. And maybe I can help y'all find a deal or help you make a little money. But thanks again for being here. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye-bye. Even if you try.